welcome to your love messages. I'm so excited to do this for you today. If you're looking for a longer reading with crystals and essential oils and all of those things, then you'll need to go to the May 2021 reading, which I'll have linked in the description box down below. We're going to be looking at your energy today and the energies can be reversed. So cross watchers, if you're watching this and you're like, hey, that sounds more like me or um, Scorpio, if you're watching and you're like, hey, that really sounds like my other person, just assign the roles as needed. These messages are timeless, so if you're brought to this channel and this reading even a year from now, there's something in it for you, so just go ahead and stay here and listen to whatever it is, and whatever you feel in your heart that resonates, that's the message that was for you. Also, if you like this reading and you want it to resonate with you, but it doesn't, then go to the April, what are they thinking about you reading, and at the end of that, it talks about how to raise your vibration to match the, the cards. If this reading does not resonate with you, it just means I'm not picking up on your specific energy at this time. There's lots of good readers on YouTube, so you could just uh, go ahead and, and uh, sign off and go look for someone else, and that's okay, and come back another time. If you like this reading or you're entertained in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. This way you can get notified as soon as I post something new. I just want to say thank you to all the people who have uh, supported this channel, subscribed, commented, called me on the telephone. I got some friends that have told me some amazing things, texted me, let me know that these, how, how wonderful this is happening in your life. And I'm so excited and happy to be a part of your journey and to be able to channel these messages so that you can get what you need to further your journey in the best way possible. So let's get started. We're gonna find out what did the person that you are thinking about, what do they think of you? What happened in the past? What's happening now? What's the advice and what's the outcome? All right, so super, super excited. Let's go ahead and get started. I just wanna thank you all for um, the donations as well, the 111s and the 555s and the 444s. That's super cool. I like that. I appreciate that. And I just, all the people who've gotten new jobs because of this channel, um, those people who've gotten raises because of this channel, those people who have moved on from relationships that weren't supporting them and made great decisions because of this channel, I, I that's really awesome. I'm so glad that you're getting what you need in order to... In order to make your life the best way you want it. So we're gonna do one more and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull some cards and then pull some clarifiers. I'm only accepting the highest and best truth. Well, I'll do another one. Highest and best truth for Scorpio's highest and best good. Three, four, the most accurate answers. All right, and then I want the cards and then clarifiers. Ready? Okay, let's do it backwards so I don't start hearing anything. One, two. So thinking of you, the past, now, Outcome, oh, I advice, and then outcome, okay. And then we have clarify, 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 clarify. All right, bottom of the deck is King of Wands. So the overall energy of this reading is very honorable. Um, lots of communication. There's going to be some wise choices, some wisdom that you learn from this, some self-awareness, um, self-expression, and you're going to feel very free in, your, in the decisions that you're making. So that's awesome. All right, let's find out what they think of you. So the person that you're thinking about thinks of you as a new beginning. So we have the Ace of Swords, and that is success. Uh, very, very clear decisions and thinking, which they had said right here too. Um, there's gonna be immediate changes for you and the better, and they see you as an immediate change of their better, right? Um, they see you overcoming your obstacles. They see you um, even sometimes having really good confrontations, even though they're conversations, but maybe the confrontations that come to you, they see you handling that very well. They also see that you put a lot of work into yourself and a lot of work into what you do and into your success. So they're saying very highly of you. So whoever you're thinking about, they think very highly of you and they think that um, you're pretty awesome, <laughs> you know? So that's really cool. They've seen you cut things out of your life. They think that's really awesome. They've seen you put some work into what you're doing and, and they love that as well. All right, so what happened in the past? Well, in the past, we had the King of Cups. Um, this person, the relationship that you guys had was very fast, very fast moving relationship. Um, and it was, very charismatic. I mean, it was warm hearted and you guys are very sociable with each other. Um, I think that you saw them and they saw you as the ideal romantic partner 
and uh, you guys followed your heart and your intuition when you got into this relationship, but it was very fast moving. And um, this also could be that when it, when as the relationship progressed in the past, that maybe you guys were only giving each other half of a cup of love. That's the other, um, the other thing about this card is that the, that king only gives a half of cup of love. It's not the full picture sometimes. That's the shadow side of it. It's fast moving and awesome and wonderful and 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 beautiful, but then it's not the whole, the whole picture though, the whole self, the whole uh, emotionally connected spiritually loving um, relationship. So there was there was still something missing. Um, what's happening now is there's, I don't know which side this is on, if it's your side or their side, but there definitely is some illusion that's happening. Um, you guys aren't seeing the full clear picture of the relationship right now. And so that is, um, yeah, it's, it's bringing in some anxiety and so that's very interesting. So basically, I guess what I would say, well, they're not giving me advice yet, but I'm wondering if the advice is going to be um, to recognize that that you're not seeing the clear picture, that you guys haven't been actually giving each other the full cup of love yet. And so it's still a work in progress is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like we're still working towards something. We still have some anxieties. We still have some illusions. Um, and we, we jumped into something kind of fast here. It doesn't mean that it was wrong. It just means that it was really fast. And so, uh, it didn't, I don't think it like totally allowed you guys to access everything because the, I'm feeling like the relationship was really young. And so, uh, it was, there was just some young energy in that where it was like not very totally mature. The advice is to go ahead and bring your, your love, okay? This is the Knight of Cups, which means this is a proposal. So either one of you guys, um, it would be good to have a conversation. It'd be good to maybe uh, consider the romance again. But um, you guys definitely, if you're not friends now, you definitely will be in a friendship. You definitely, because we have communication twice there. So, right. So, so go ahead and you can go ahead and open up that communication and be open to new love. Like don't judge the, the book by its cover, right? So this definitely is the knight is bringing the cup of love, but he's not running though. So he is actually taking his time and um, being a little bit more, I wouldn't say cautious, but just a little bit more smart about the actions, right? Opposed to just jumping in and, um, you know, jump in their pants, right? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but it is going to bring you complete happiness. I think that this time around, you guys are going to find that this love is deeper and it has more to it and it has more substance to it. And I feel like you're going to, um, you're going to get, you're going to get the happiness that you're looking for. Okay. So the outcome of the situation is whatever panged the relationship in the past or whatever pain came from this, you guys are going to heal it. Okay. Um, I think that you've done a lot of healing already, but there's just a piece to this relationship that still needs to be healed. And I feel like this looking past the illusions and the anxiety that's happening for you right now about the relationship will get you to the, um, this place where you can actually see the things that have actually that that have been holding you guys your relationship back. So there there are some pieces to the relationship that hurt because it was such fast moving energy. It was a half a cup of love, um, that type of stuff. So it did create some some things that you're, you weren't happy about, some things they weren't happy about. But what I'm hearing is in the end of all of that is you're gonna it's gonna turn into the King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is. Um, it's a very generous love. It's a love that is well thought out and planned out. And so instead of rushing in like we did before, it's it's more um, loyal. It's uh, more stable, reliable. Um, this person, you guys are gonna feel more protected, like the relationship is more protected and not as um, open to other people coming in and causing heartache between you two, right? So this is like the conflicts that you guys had in the past in this relationship will become resolved. 
you'll feel very secure in this relationship and you guys are going to be feeling very generous towards each other. So even though you may have held back some feelings for each other because man, life happens, you know, and we make bad choices sometimes. And so what I'm thinking is, um, and definitely when we're younger, we make some horrid choices. So, um, and the way that we cheat each, or treat each other, you know, they may, they may have been some cheating going on. There may have been some um, emotional connections that didn't belong in the relationship from other people. Who knows, right? Definitely some things that, that hurt your guys' heart towards each other. And it did bring in some anxiety and some illusions about what you thought about each other because this was fast-moving love in the beginning. So um, I really feel like, feel like it's going to be more stable. Let's go ahead and figure out what this person is thinking about you. We'll grab some hidden truth cards and see where this love is going. Because sometimes if we could just hear the thoughts of the other person without our, un with, with our uninterrupted, e with our ego not interrupting, there we go, that's what I want to say, then um, it helps us move forward. It helps us see the truth. Right? So let's see what they got to say. And they have these great cards, so... Be excited to use them. Sorry, I haven't come out with a video. I've I've been dealing with um migraines for the last couple days. Yeah, so there definitely is some heartache in this relationship. Um, and it seems like maybe you guys aren't even talking in the way that. And if you are already are are if you are in a relationship like you're married or something, maybe it's not as close as you guys uh, had been in the past. Maybe it's not as strong right now and you're just not feeling it, you know, and that's okay. That happens. I've been married 23, almost 24 years and you go through periods where you do that. And so it's okay. Okay. Beautiful. It's like there's just seasons in, in relationships, you know, where you have the runner and the chasers. You have, um, you have twin flame issues going on sometimes. You have soulmate issues going on. You have karmic relationships. You know, karmic isn't punishment. It's lessons. So you have just many lessons that you're learning from each other. Okay, these are beautiful. So what they're saying is, they're saying that they wish they would have treated you better. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of pain that happened in this relationship, you know? And, and so they're saying that, you know, they're really taking in their mind, although they haven't said it to you yet, I feel like they're coming to a point where they're really taking ownership of their actions, you know, and that might be what's causing them to stay up at night with this anxiety that maybe they're starting to see that, you know, that it was their fault, but they blamed you for it. You know, they wanted it to be your fault. And so, um, yeah, that's very interesting. And, and, and so there, I feel like this person is going through like for your relationship, maybe some sort of a dark night of the soul for the relationship, like really having to kind of look at it and judge it. And what did I do and what happened? And I feel like this time they're, they're, they're taking more ownership than they ever have, which, you know, it's about time, right? Scorpio <laughs> cross watchers. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> I, I get it. I've been there, done that too. I've been in relationships and I've had to take accountability as well. All right. So they're saying that they're afraid to contact you. You know, they're afraid to, and if you're in a marriage or relationship already, this person's afraid to talk to you about it. They're afraid to tell you, like, they're taking ownership, but dang, to open your mouth and actually say it, that's a different story, right? Actually say it to the person you hurt. Sometimes that's a lot harder than it seems. Like, you're, you're, you're a lot stronger, Scorpio, so you're probably like, well, why don't you just say it? Like, what's the big deal? Uh, yeah, not everybody's like Scorpio and has that sort of strength. And um, not everybody uh, can see past the illusion as quick as you can sometimes, okay? So just kind of understand that about people. Um, and then they're saying, I wonder if you are happy without me. And so maybe they're kind of thinking like, I'm such a piece of crap. Like, I don't know, even know why Scorpio's with me. I don't know why Scorpio was with me, whatever the situation is for you guys, because I'm trying to pick up on the full collective. But I really feel like this person's just having some self-doubt about you know, cause you're amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're like, um, do I even deserve to be with Scorpio? Like maybe they'll just be happy without me. Maybe I should just let him go. Okay. They're saying that they're terrified, 
terrified, not of you, but to talk to you, to tell you this. They're terrified to open their mouth and tell you how they feel. They would rather, I'm seeing like, I don't know if you have a cancer in your life, but I'm seeing like a crab, like going back into their shell, like, oh gosh, I just can't tell Scorpio how I feel. I just, it would be too hard. I'm just terrified. Um, and then they're saying that I've had sleepless nights caught between confusion and pain. Yeah, we know that because we saw this, right? That's what this is. They're staying up at night. You know, they're having these sleepless nights over everything that happened. And... It doesn't make them feel very good, right? They're not feeling like the best person right now. And now, but here's the cool thing. This is what they think about you. They think that you are the diamond of immense strength and beauty. Yeah, that's what that's what they're saying here. They've seen like you work your butt off. Work your butt off to cut things out and work your butt off to have new opportunities. And they've seen like you just making clear decisions and being awesome, like being in your awesomeness. And they're like, oh my gosh. And then here they go. Not only do they think you're a diamond, but they think that you are a star who out, who outside, who outshines. I'm sorry. They think you are a star that outshines all others. I mean, they think very highly of you. I mean, they, uh, they adore you, but they feel like, man, I really, I really screwed the pooch on that one. You know what I mean? I really messed that up. <laughs> I got that from my movers. I had a movers, movers that moved us um, from state to state and, uh, they messed up so bad on our move. And he texted his wife and said, I screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> so it's funny. That's how they feel. They feel like, man, I totally like messed that one up. And they said that I'm afraid if you touch me, you will destroy me. Meaning that could be many, many different things. I don't feel like this is a bad thing. Like you're actually going to explode or anything. I feel like they just feel like they're going to crumble. Like if you touch them or you get close to them, that they're just, that they're just not as powerful. I'm just seeing like a vision of like you touching a rock and it just crumbles. Blah, 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 right? Like, ah, oh, I'm just going to crumble. Ah, uh, that's how they feel. It's crazy. And it says, I saw myself in you the first second I laid eyes on you. Like they saw this relationship. That's why you guys move so fast. But I don't think that they were fully ready for the relationship because they only gave you a half a cup of love, you know? So I feel like with all of this and, and they came into the relationship, like they had the intuition that it was going to be great and awesome, but I don't think that they were ready for a relationship yet in that way. And you were more mature in like relationships like you've already had relationships before so it was like um you were ready it was totally cool but i just don't think that they were and they may have felt in on an intuitive way that you were amazing but i don't think that they had the emotional capacity to really understand what that meant to really understand who you were um, but they definitely knew that you were amazing and they knew it was something that they needed to do and so I, I just feel like that there's a lot of guilt over the, what they did to you, that there's a lot of guilt and shame over, over the pain of what they did. And I want to go ahead and pull a couple more cards, um, about this relationship and get a little bit more clarity, but definitely I feel like there's remorse and I feel like they, they are deathly afraid to come to you and tell you what a piece of crap they were to you because, um, they know it. But to admit it to the person that you actually hurt, that's a, that's a different story, you know? Um, okay. All right. So here, there's going to be a little bit of separation. So this person can deal with their feelings. It says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, does that mean that they're physically going to go away? No, but they may go ahead and shut down a little bit emotionally so they can deal with it. So that has nothing to do with you. So if you feel a separation in emotions or physical separation, or maybe they don't call you or they don't text you, just let it be. Um, you know, it's that saying, if, uh, if, if you let them go, um, and if they don't come back, then they were never yours or something like that. It's that saying, like, let them go have their feelings. Let them deal with this. Because if they don't, they're going to keep treating you the same way they always have. And that's not cool. Like, they need to stop that mess. That's not cool. Um, and it says, um, let your friends help you. So ask and accept help from others. Boy, is that hard for Scorpio sometimes. It's hard sometimes for you to ask, but dang, when you do and you guys, you finally connect with someone and you get that intuition, it's like, 
you go, you go forward. You're like, boom, I got it. I knew I got what I need. Cause I really think that you're so intuitive that sometimes you don't need, you feel like you don't need other people, but God speaks through other people. So don't forget that. So you may be getting amazing messages from God. Um, but remember that God it, utilizes other people and, ch and people can channel things that maybe you can't hear. And then that way you can, you can move on and not get tangled up in this mess right here. So your soulmate may be different from your usual type and expectation. So keep an open mind as this person changes. If this person doesn't change, then I'm feeling like you're going to have to use your power of cutting things out. Okay. And you just, you just, it's okay. Because what's happening is when we cut something out, we always get something better. Like when we tell God that, Hey, that wasn't working. That's my old self. I'm not doing that then we get something better. So what I'm hearing is either way, you're gonna end up getting a soulmate of some sort, whether it's this person who changes and they match your vibration and they resonate with you. If they don't resonate with you, then they're gonna fall out of your life and then you're gonna get someone else that is going to resonate with you. Cause as you, cause I'm hearing that you changed a lot. You did a lot of work on yourself. You changed a lot. And this person stayed in the old energy and the stuck energy. Are they feeling the intuition? Is God knocking on their heart right now and saying, you need, you need to look at this and what you did and you need, to, you need to have some transformations and change and you need to vibrate a little bit higher and get rid of all the stuff? Yeah, God does that, do that, does do that to us. And so I feel like this person, that is what's happening right now. And so keep, keep some space and keep an open mind about where this could go and what can happen. So I'm hearing um, that your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you're used to, uh, I'm going to be blunt, like Scorpio, sometimes you attract some people that treat you like crap. And you, you have done so much work on yourself, you're not attracting that anymore. And if this person can't treat you better, then God will end up taking this person out of your life. If this person can't change in the way that you need them to, God is going to bring you what will and what you deserve. So that's kind of what I'm feeling with this. And um, I, I pray, if you love this person, I pray that this person will change. Um, I'll put that prayer out there for you. And I'll put that, um, that resonance out there for you. Um, but I just be open to the fact that if they can't, that God has something better for you, okay? And, and you're, you're, you're really working on your self-esteem and you're really working on yourself. And so there's no reason to stay in a relationship where somebody's not going to treat you good, okay? Because I think you're doing a great job. And I'm really proud of you, actually. God's telling me to say that, you know, you're, you're creating freedom. Yeah, so this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that. Look at that. You're creating freedom. And there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, that's awesome. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. And I feel like some of you guys are staying in this relationship because you feel like you, you should or you have to, or, you know, gosh, it's like, what do you do? For it's the only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And this one is manifesting miracles. Your dreams are assumed to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow the guidance. Beautiful. I love that. So, um, yeah, Scorpio, I just think this is a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for staying with me. If you like this reading or you're entertained in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified as soon as I post something new. I'm going to be doing the Mercury Retrograde reading next. I'm going to skip the April, uh, the mid, I'm sorry. I'm going to skip the mid-May reading because we're going right into Mercury Retrograde and we need, we're about to start feeling those feelings a lot stronger now. It starts on the 26th. I mean, it's the... It's the 16th. We only got 10 more days. So I'm going to finish up on these love readings. When I'm done with that, we're going to do the Mercury Retrograde reading. Okay? You guys have a great day. Bye.